The Swing Nell, Jess and Ida went for a picnic. They took cakes and milk, a nice box of dates and some rosy apples. They sat down under a white may tree. When the wind blew, the petals fell like snow. A wren sang a sweet song. A bold robin flew down for the crumbs. He thanked them with a sung. Near the tree there was a little pool. Not very deep. It was fun to wade in the cool water. Then they walked in the grass with bare feet. Let us make chains of daisies with pink on them said Ida. Here are two, said Jess. There are ever so many on this bank, called Nell. Soon they had a bunch of them. Back to the may tree they went to make their chains. Nell's was the longest. Ida had some buttercups in hers. Jess made two small chains for her wrist. The sun was low and it was time to go home and then Ida saw a ring of darker green grass. It went all round the may tree, a yard or two from where they sat. Look, she said, we are in a fairy ring. This is where the fairies dance. Ida, Nell, Jess, called Mother at the stile. They ran to meet her, and Nell did not see that she had dropped her daisy chain. The sun set. Soon it was evening. The moon rose and shone above the pool. An owl hooted three times, and a little door in the may tree flew open. Up the stairs from fairyland came the fairies. Such lovely frocks they wore. Last of all came the fairy queen and her elves. She held up her wand and the dance began. Dear queen, see what we have found, said two elves. They held out Nell's daisy chain. What can we do with it? asked the Queen. Dear Queen, it will make a swing, said Fairy Rose. Tie it to those trees, she pointed to two buttercups. The elves climbed the green stems of the buttercups to tie it. So the pretty daisy chain became a swing for the fairies. By Edith E. Millard